beef and broccoli with charred scallions. We're going to put a little high temperature cooking oil into the skillet and start by charring the scallions, getting them nice and black all over. I had to start the beef a little bit ahead of you because it has to marinate for at least 30 minutes before you cook it. This is flank steak, a pound and a quarter of flank steak for four adult portions. So I pop the flank steak into the freezer for about 10 minutes so we can really thinly slice it safely on an angle with a good sharp knife. That's what I did to the beef. I threw it into a baggie. I then added a couple tablespoons of Shaoxing or dry sherry. And then we put in a splash, about a tablespoon, of both light soy sauce and dark soy sauce, and about a tablespoon of cornstarch. I also put in a drizzle of high temperature cooking oil, and that's the marinade itself. After I slice the meat, I season it very lightly with fine sea salt, very lightly, because you're getting salt, of course, out of the soy sauce. You can skip it totally if you like. I also put on a little black pepper or pepper blend. In the bowl here, I have about a cup of beef bone broth. To that, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of the Xiaojing or uh, dry sherry is fine. And a couple tablespoons each of our light soy sauce. And I'm also adding dark soy sauce. And then one tablespoon each of sugar, dark sesame oil, and about a tablespoon of cornstarch to thicken this, okay? And then we whisk this all together and our sauce is ready to go. You can serve this with white rice, brown rice, or we're gonna mix it up today. And we're gonna use, these are Cantonese noodles. You can use fresh or dried noodles. So let's flip around our green onions, charring, look, look how gorgeous they are. Start to pull some of these out. All right, so we've got our charred scallion. Now we're gonna put the meat in, and depending on the size, I'm using a cast iron skillet, you can also use a nonstick skillet, if you don't have a big old cast iron skillet. I prefer a cast iron, and you might wanna do the meat in two batches, depending on the size of your pan, because you wanna keep this in a single layer to get the meat nice and crispy, and in the beef drippings, I am now wilting down or charring up, I guess you, you, is more appropriate, our broccolini. I cut the thicker parts of the stems, as you can see here. I halved those, okay? Because you want everything to have the same cook time. Now we're ready, once that starts to slump, to add in our ginger and our garlic. If you want a little spice in the dish, feel free to add a chili. And now I'm just gonna grate in our garlic. We've got three bunches of broccolini here, so I'm using five or six cloves, like a good amount of garlic. Always whisk anything that has cornstarch in it, again, right before you add it, because it will settle. And now we want to work the bottom of the pan. We want to lower the heat, first of all. And we want to work the bottom of the pan to get up all the beef drippings. All of the reserved juices from the beef are charred scallions. I think this looks gorgeous. What do you think, honey? Yeah, maybe maybe just, just put some, some chives on yeah, the separate. noodles and serve them separate because they're so pretty. And we can put the sprinkles on the noodles. And I'll grab a little chive to give it some color. There we go. Woo! Yum!